For as long as I can remember, we had an NES. And we're talking the original design. You know, that one. I'm not fully sure exactly how old it is. I have to check the model number on it to know for sure. Cause... I'm pretty sure there would be a way to figure out how old it is based on that. Though, while we've had it for as long as I can remember, I've yet to actually play most of the games we have for it. So, what better time to start than now? One thing to note before we start. All the NES games will be played on a Retron HD. The reason for it being that the NES doesn't quite play games like it used to. It's a pretty old piece of tech, so... Yeah, some problems can... happen. Anyways, without further ado, the game we're starting with is Wheel of Fortune. If you're in the US, Wheel of Fortune is a very well-known game show. At least, I think it's more well-known in the US? I'm sure other places know about it. But... Yeah. Honestly, I didn't really go into in-depth research of the Wheel of Fortune show itself. I'm just going off of what I know. And this game came out in 1987. I didn't even exist back then. So there's that to keep in mind. Also, take a look here. Rare made this. The same way that brought us games like Donkey Kong Country and Banjo-Kazooie made this game. Well, I guess I know what music to use for this. Actually, they've made quite a few game show games. One of which being another NES game in my collection. We'll get to that when we get to that. As expected with any Wheel of Fortune game, you spin a wheel and try answering a word puzzle. Pretty simple simplification of how it works. Though what's not always simple is what the puzzles are. Take the first question here. The category, people. Now, you would think that this is a person's name. But instead, it's an occupation. Mechanical Engineer. I'm, uh... I'm not the best at spelling. Or... Writing. Or... A lot of things. And there goes the AI. This is easy mode, by the way. And then, of course, later in the same game, the category shows up again. Only this time, it's actually someone's name. Maybe I'm just not cut out for game shows. Or maybe I'm just stupid. That is a very likely possibility. I've had quite a few times where by the time I realized what the answer was, the AI immediately goes to answer it. Fun. Another thing that's a bit annoying is the fact that when choosing letters, all of the vowels are available, but selecting them tells you you must buy vowels, and then it goes on to the next person. Now, I do understand that in the game show, you buy vowels, but why would you let me choose vowels when I'm not supposed to? That seems like an oversight to me. Then, also, when it happened, I actually forgot that you had to buy vowels. Like I said, first time playing the game. Whoops. Well, 
Turns out I've just proven my own stupidity by trying to solve when there was only one letter. I have no clue what a bionic silly would be, but by the way, past me, there are two L's in silly, not one. You, you, you tried your best. And the AI sweeps it. Hooray! Now I get to watch the AI do the final puzzle. Oh boy, can't wait to see what he's gonna do. We got places of the category. How many letters do we have to work with? Only three? That's not enough to get the ants. You have got to be kidding me. Just how? How? I don't understand how they were able to get that. He had three letters. Three! And he got it first guess. Now we're back at the title screen. Great! Though, there is a hard mode, so we might as well try that out. I'm sure this will end well. Okay, round one. I'm probably not going to win this, but we'll do our best. We will. Well, if that's my best, then that sure says a lot about me. Okay, how will the AIs do? Not that great. But still learning than me. Never let me go on a game show. What is happening right now? Wait, he knows the answer already? the fine print was that what I was supposed to do before playing this game is that what you're telling me 2600 in the first round Kevin who are you oh great another person well at least the AI goes first Unless I get everything right. Phew. Now I get a chance. Well, it was fun while it lasted. And Kevin's gonna solve again. Fun. What in the world is a personal director? What does one do as a personal director? Personnel director? I, I realize I read that word wrong. <laughs> uh. Well, he got another one, mate. Okay, speed up round! Can I not suck at this? No! The answer is no. What kind of place is this? Oh 
she got that is beyond me. 30-50? Wow. Kevin destroyed us. Let's see how well this pool is. You have got to be kidding me. Beauty and the Beast? Really? <laughs> Kevin also won a car. Wait a minute. Kevin. This can only be one person. Look, Gwen, you have to treat a car like you treat a woman. Go on. No. I sense I've made a mistake of some kind. Well, I'm getting out of here now. So... What are my thoughts on Wheel of Fortune for the NES? If you're gonna play this, play with actual people. I think these kind of games would benefit from that. And well, I don't think you guys want to deal with Kevin Levin. But I feel like if you're gonna play a Wheel of Fortune game, pick a different one. Surely some of the newer ones are much better. Except maybe the one Ubisoft made. That one doesn't seem very good. Well, after years of just sitting on the shelf, this game will now most likely continue to sit on the shelf. Cause I'm probably not gonna be very likely to play this again. Hopefully you all enjoyed the first Spirit Thoughts Retro. Next time, who knows, we might talk about a game whose cartridge confused me for most of my life. See you guys next time. At least, I think it's more well-known in the U.S.? I'm sure other people... <laughs> I'm sure other places know about it. Also, take a look here. Rare made this. The same Rare that gave us Donkey Kong Country... Wait. Also, take a look here. Rare made this. The same Rare that brought us games like Donkey Kong Country and Banjo-Kazooie made this game. Now I get to watch the AI do the final puzzle. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do. We got places of the category. How many letters do we have to work with? Oh boy, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do. We got places of the category. How many... <laughs> God damn it. Oh boy, can't wait to see what he's gonna do. We got places of the category. How many letters do we have to work with? Well, if that's my best, I'm that sure says a lot. Well, if that's my best, then that sure says a lot about me. Okay, what's the AI gonna do? Okay, how will the AIs do? 2600 in the first round? Kevin! No, wait. 2,600 in the first round? What in the world is a personal director? What does one do as a personal director? Personnel director? I, I realize I read that word wrong. <laughs> uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the first... Oh, god darn it! <laughs> uh.